Finally, new rule. If you want to understand why America is so divided, don't talk about Republicans and Democrats or red states and blue states. Read the story, The City Mouse and the Country Mouse. <laughs> Currently being sold under the new title, What Happened? <laughs> but... <laughs> The original was about two mice who learn that you're either one or the other, city or country. And the same really could be said for America. When you fly over it, you don't see red states and blue states. You see vast stretches of land where there's nothing, <laughs> and then every once in a while, a city. Here's Missouri. But every state looks the same, a sea of red with a few blue dots. Now, I could joke about Alabama all I want, and believe me, I want. <laughs> it's Trump country, but not Birmingham, because that's a city. It voted for Hillary. Something happens to you when you live in a city. You get mugged. But you also have a multicultural experience. Cities are places with diversity and theater and museums and other gay stuff. <laughs> I, I have nothing against rural life, but I've seen farms on TV and they look dusty. <laughs> Republicans are freaking out lately because it seems Trump is pivoting from these two to these two. Colluding with Russia, fine, but Democrats? <laughs> but really, it's not that complicated. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, they're city mice. And that's who a consummate New Yorker like Donald Trump relates to. Why is he always poop tweeting at 3 a.m.? Because he's from the city that never sleeps. He's such a New York guy, he had his last wife delivered. <laughs> Trump's disillusion with McConnell and Ryan, it's not really political. It's just that for the first 70 years of his life, he would never be caught dead hanging around with a traveling Bible salesman like Paul Ryan or a corny, countrified goober like Mitch McConnell. <laughs> for Christ's sakes, the man is from Kentucky. <laughs> Jeff Sessions is from Alabama. <laughs> When he, <laughs> when, he, when he talks, all Trump hears is a tiny little Ernest movie. <laughs> and Mike Pence? It must be torture for Trump to be in the White House every day with that homespun, Christian, tightly wound, human heart on. He, <laughs> he literally won't dine with an unchaperoned woman. Meanwhile, Trump has spent his entire life posing with a shit-eating grin that says, look at all the pussy I'm giving. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the existential crisis of our president. He's an asshole, but he's not a hick. He represents one group, but belongs to another. I hate to break it to you real Americans, but what Trump likes about Chuck and Nancy is they're not you. <laughs> and he's not one of you. Trust me, when Trump watches the Beverly Hillbillies, he roots for Mr. Drysdale. <laughs> 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 and when he tells a crowd, as he often does, I love you, what he means is that in middle America, he found something he had long ago run out of in New York. Suckers. <laughs> Trump voters... <laughs> Trump voters were played for rubes by the ultimate fast-talking city slicker who saw vulnerable people nervous about jobs and the melting pot getting too melty, and he told them he'd build a great wall and get their jobs back at the mine. And they said, where do I sign? <sighs> Folks, you didn't make America great again. You enrolled in Trump University. 